I'm joined now by Patricia Evans, who is the communications manager here at Longwood Gardens. And Trish, we just saw the beautiful fountain revitalization. Mm -hmm. How's the response been from people since May when it opened? Well, Jessica, our guests are loving it. We've had over a quarter of a million visitors to the gardens since May when we opened. Mm -hmm. And they're coming in the daytime and then coming back at night to see the fountain. So it's the response has been terrific. And that's right. We want to let people know that there is this very special evening production of the fountains with lights yes. and, and in the dark yes. and all mm -hmm. of that. So keep it in mind, if you've only seen it in the daytime, come back at night. Now, in addition to the fountains, you also have other wonderful things happening here at Longwood. Tell us a little bit about those. Well, I think that's the great thing about Longwood is mm -hmm. there's something for everybody in the family. If you love gardens, obviously we have those in droves with our beautiful water lily display in the summer. Mm -hmm. If you're really not into gardening, we have a terrific performing arts program. So you can come here at night and see concerts happening. And of course, for the youngest ones in the family, we have our tree houses and our indoor and outdoor children's gardens. So there really is something for everyone at Longwood. And I was, I was telling them earlier when I walked in, you and I walked by the, the campers who were at their camps there, but yes. that sounds great. So you can learn no matter what age you are here at Longwood. Absolutely. Yeah. And for a lot of us, to that end, if I were to try to manage a small garden, I, it would not look, I don't know that I could produce this. <laughs> so how do you guys manage to do that? That is quite a feat, just getting it all managed yes, here it, and watered. It certainly takes a team. And we have over 600 full and part-time employees here at the gardens. Wow. And about 80 of them are in our horticulture staff, mm -hmm. keeping the gardens beautiful. But it really is a total team effort. And at the holidays, I know I've been out here with you guys mm -hmm. before as well. That's a whole nother situation where it's these lighting masters that get yes. all the Christmas lights up and everything. That long one is spectacular. It's our busiest time of the year. It opens Thanksgiving Day. It runs through mid-January, and it is a Christmas extravaganza like you've never seen. And for people who, you know, we talk to a lot of people who say, "I grew up going there," or "We like to come every couple of years." It continues to evolve here. I mean, it really does. Yeah, we make a very concerted effort to always have new things for our guests mm -hmm. to enjoy year after year. And we do have guests who come when they were children, and now they bring their own children, and we love that. It's so so special. Now, I have to ask: Do you have a favorite place that, like, you get to seek? Oh away to sometimes. <laughs> That's a tough one because everything at Longwood is so beautiful, but I love the Meadow Garden. Mm. We just revitalized that in 2014, and it is a beautiful garden in every season of the year, and I think it's the most beautiful place in Chester County to take a walk. Yeah, the Meadow Garden. All right, so note, note that down. All yes. right, Trish, thank you for being with us. Thanks for hosting us oh, today. Oh, our pleasure, Jessica. This thank is you. a lovely place to spend a Friday, I must <laughs> tell you.